Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing great. It's James here from 9to5Software, and in today's video, we're gonna dive into the world of photo editing. Specifically, we'll be looking at some of the absolute best DSR photo editing software out there. Now, I know choosing the right software can be a bit overwhelming with so many options and features to consider, right? But don't worry, because I've done the legwork for you, and I'm pumped to share my top picks that could seriously up your editing game. And hey, just a quick reminder before we get into it, um, all the links to the products we're gonna talk about, they're all down there in the description, so you can easily check them out for yourself after the video. All right, so whether you're a pro photographer or just getting started, stick around, because I'm pretty sure these tools are gonna blow your mind with what they can do. Let's get started. All right, um, let's talk about Adobe Lightroom. Now, when you're diving into the whole DSLR photography scene, the editing software you use is just like, super important it can really make or break your photos right so lightroom has been this um industry standard for so long and there's a bunch of good reasons for that first things first the user interface it's pretty slick um it's intuitive especially if you've been around adobe products before say like photoshop or premiere pro but even if you haven't it doesn't take long to get the hang of it and that's like super important for the workflow. So you're not, you know, banging your head against the wall trying to figure out how to adjust your highlights or um, your shadows. Now, I got to talk about the presets and customization because, oh man, it's a game changer. Um, you got your photo and maybe it's just not popping, right? But then bam, you apply one of the built-in presets or something you've uh, created yourself and suddenly it's looking a hundred times better. It's all about creating that unique look your personal brand and doing it efficiently. However, um, one downside, Adobe moved to a subscription model, which is kind of annoying. You can't just buy Lightroom outright anymore. It's part of the creative cloud. And yeah, that means a monthly fee. Some people aren't jazzed about that, but then you do get regular updates, cloud storage, and you know, you can sync your work across devices, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a trade-off, but for what you get, I'd say, um, it's still a solid choice for your DSLR photo editing. All right, so um, let's dive right into Capture One Pro. This software, honestly, it's pretty amazing if you're into serious photography and you want that elite level of control over your images. So straight out of the gate, one of the things you're gonna notice about Capture One Pro is the interface. It's uh, pretty sleek and you know a bit intimidating at first, I gotta say, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find it, it, it it's super customizable. And that's a big win. Yeah, I know, because everyone's workflow is a bit different. Now, when it comes to editing your DSLR photos, what you're looking for is quality, right? And Capture One Pro, it delivers on that in spades. The raw processing engine is just, oh man, it's top notch. You get these really true to life colors and the detail you can pull out of your shadows and highlights is just, um, it's incredible really. Plus the noise reduction, superb. You're shooting at high ISO and expecting that noise but with Capture One, it's like, where did it all go? Really impressive stuff. Um, so the thing with Capture One that stands out is the tethering capability. If you're a studio photographer, this is huge. The tethering is just so reliable and fast that it feels like magic. You take a shot and bam, it's right there on your screen. This helps a ton with clients too. You know, They can see the shots live and give instant feedback, which um, yeah, saves a lot of time and hassle. And just to touch on learning the software, because I know it looks daunting. The learning curve is, uh, well, it's steep, but hey, there's a bunch of tutorials out there. And once you get past the basics, you'll start to feel like you've got superpowers in photo editing. The level of control over color grading, the layer adjustments, and all those local adjustments you can make. It's just, dude, you can really make your images pop. So yeah, overall capture one pro is a beast of an editor for DSLR photos. And despite that learning curve, I'd say it's definitely worth the effort. All right, let's jump into Photolab, which is honestly a pretty solid choice when it comes to editing photos from your DSLR. Now, right off the bat, one of the really cool things about Photolab is its raw processing capabilities. It has this technology called prime noise reduction. And let me tell you, it's kind of mind blowing. It can clean up the noise in your shots without smearing all that lovely detail, which is um, pretty essential when you're dealing with high ISO. Images from your DSLR, especially in like, low light conditions or if you're shooting at night. The interface itself, um, it might seem a bit daunting at first, not gonna lie. It's got a lot going on, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite intuitive. 
You've got your usual suspects like your light and color adjustments, but Photolab also brings some unique stuff to the table. For example, there's this super smart feature called smart lighting, which can really make your subject pop by, um, optimizing contrast and dynamic range, and it's surprisingly good at handling tricky lighting conditions. Now, one thing you should know is that Photolab is big on lens corrections, and they basically profiled a ton of camera and lens combos. So what you get are these automatic corrections for things like distortion, vignetting, chromatic aberration, which, by the way, can be total game changers for your image quality. It's like the software knows exactly what's wrong with your photo and has the tools to fix it without you having to um, manually tweak a bunch of sliders. But, all right, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Photolab could be a bit heavy on the wallet, especially if you're looking at the Elite version, which has all the bells and whistles. And it's kind of important to note that it doesn't have the same kind of asset management features as Lightroom. So if cataloging and organization are super high on your list, you might want to, you know, keep that in mind. Overall, though, if you're focusing mostly on getting the best possible quality out of your RAW files, Photolab is a contender that's definitely worth considering. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the best DSR photo editing software you can get your hands on right now. I really hope you found this review helpful and maybe even discovered a new tool that's going to make your photo editing a whole lot easier and um, like more enjoyable. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. I've popped them all down there for you so you can have a quick click and see which one suits your style and your workflow the best. You never know. Your photos might just thank you for it. Well, I'm not literally, but you get what I mean, right? And hey, if you've got any questions or if there's something you want to say, um, don't be shy. Drop a comment down below. I'm pretty good at well, getting back to them, and I love hearing your thought. Plus, it's always cool uh, to see what you guys are working on or struggling with because it gives me ideas for future videos to help you out. Speaking of, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my upcoming software reviews and tutorials. There's always something new on the horizon, and I'm just itching to share all that knowledge and those... Um, handy little tips with you. And hey, if you're craving more content, go ahead and check out the other videos on the channel. There's a bunch of stuff there that could be super helpful or just entertaining, maybe even both if we're lucky. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you get on with your day or night or whatever time it is where you are. Thanks again for watching. I truly appreciate you spending your time with me. Keep those shots snappy and your edits on point and you know, keep being awesome. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace out.